One of the more foundational exercises in AutoCAD is to create a base map using an aerial photograph. This tutorial is going to walk through capturing an aerial photograph from Google Earth Pro, inserting it into AutoCAD and scaling it up to the actual size of the site in model space uh, where one foot equals one foot. First we're going to start in Google Earth. I have uh, this view of Overton Park in Memphis, Tennessee as a view in Google Earth Pro. I'm going to zoom into a portion of the site where I want to capture uh, this aerial and actually use it as the base map, the beginnings of a base map in AutoCAD. One of the very first things that you must do is go to View, Reset, Tilt, and Compass. What this will do is uh, have a parallel projection as best as Google Earth can uh, directly on top with north uh, being straight up in this view. The second thing we're going to do is to toggle on the save image uh, panel right here. We're going to go to map options. I've already unchecked all of these elements and I've set the resolution to maximum. This is one of the great advantages of Google Earth Pro allowing you to get a high resolution export uh, from one single view. At this point I'm actually going to save this image. In my case just save it to my desktop. might take just a second as it saves this aerial photograph. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and come on over to my blank AutoCAD drawing. There's a lot of different ways to insert a, a image, a raster image into AutoCAD. For me, I'm going to, just going to go to insert and raster image reference. This will allow me to navigate to my desktop and to get this JPEG image that was just saved from Google Earth Pro. I'm just going to accept the defaults on the screen, say OK, and click uh, and insert this image. Now, currently it's just an image, it's not to scale. In fact, if I were to come over to this parking lot and measure a typical parking space width, uh, it's showing up as 4.43. Right now, because it's a new drawing, it's unitless, so I'm going to go ahead and change my units to engineering. I'm also going to zoom out and try and find a fairly long um, place to measure on this image. I'm going to just get, create a line. And I like to find areas of high contrast so I can really identify that specific point. Corners of buildings tend to work really well. Again, the longer the distance, the better. So I'm going to try to find the corner of a building on the opposite end of my site, or the base of the building right here. Now, the longer the measurement, the better. Uh, that's uh, the reason for this is if you're just a few feet off on a very short distance it's a higher percentage of error than if you're a few feet off on a really long distance so that's why I'm getting this really long distance in this particular view. And now I'm going to come back over to Google Earth Pro. I'm going to pull up my ruler. I'm going to zoom in on the corner of the building that was the very first measurement. Click a point zoom out and then zoom back in on this point over here right at the base. So for me that measurement is 1560 feet. I'm going to come back to AutoCAD. And this is where we're going to scale by reference. I will select both the image and that line. I'll type SC for scale. I'm going to specify my base point. It doesn't really matter where. I'm just going to click this bottom left portion of the image. And I can type in my scale factor here. I don't know the scale factor, so I'm going to type R for reference and then click both endpoints of this line. Now at this point, this is when I'm going to type in the new length to that line. For me, go back over to Google Earth Pro Check. It is 1,560 feet. 1,560, making sure that I type feet in there. I'll do zoom extents to check the distance of this line. And I've got 1,560. I'll erase this source line, it's not necessary. And I can begin tracing on top of this image to begin preparing a base map. 